All right, looks like we're live in both places. Thank you for bearing with me for a second. We had to get everything set up. I got a new phone today because my old one was not working so well. And so uh, you know what that means. You have to transfer everything over and sign into everything again. It's almost like moving. You get to pack everything up and transfer it to another place and then unpack it all again so you can use it. Only a phone's worse because you know, we keep our lives in there. I keep everything in my phone. And so if I don't have all my stuff working, it's really hard for me to function. Hi, Marjorie. Hi, mom. So we got the phone up and running. I think everything is on it. It's looking pretty good over there on Instagram tonight. Not bad at all. Hi, Sylvia. Um, I upgraded. I have a Pixel phone. I really like the Google Pixels. They have great picture quality. Um, so I just went with one a little bit newer. My GPS was not working on mine well anymore. It um, <laughs> it was going when I was driving, I'd be like way off the road onto the side. I was driving through like people's houses on the map. So we decided it was probably time that I should upgrade that <laughs> and stop driving through people's houses. Every once in a while you can see as I'm, I'm driving down the road, right? And you're a little your little car is supposed to move forward on the road. Well, mine would move forward on the road and then all of a sudden they would back way up and then it would start over again. So I never knew exactly where I was on the road. I just kind of had guess. And that was not a lot of fun, especially at uh, four o'clock in the morning when we're delivering Amazon packages and you can't see real well. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my, my poor little car is driving all over the place. I'm glad they don't raise my insurance rates for that. <laughs> All right, so we did get a few new things in. The box that I was expecting came in with everybody's, um, what was it this time? Life of the Party orders. Life of the Party orders came in. So those that um, ordered those, those pieces are in. And so I had ordered a couple other pieces to kind of fill out that order. So we have a few new things to look at. And pulled out some other favorites that maybe we haven't seen for a little bit steam for a little while so you know some of them will actually look new to you because i don't know if i've ever shown them before you know the company every once in a while just randomly sends me pieces so if you don't buy any or if you buy a certain amount they send you things that you didn't order and um so i get some things like that which is kind of fun it's a nice little surprise it's always fun to get something you didn't order right because I even get excited when Amazon comes and I know what I ordered. So it's even more fun when it's a surprise. This set that I have on tonight was actually a fashion fix set. Uh, I think it was last year. And I have one more set. These were the upgrade earrings. And this is the necklace, a little tassel -y necklace with little discs on the bottom. They are hammered discs. Um, Actually, I think I might have one back here. Let me see so that I can show it to you a little bit closer up. It's always nice to be able to see things close up. Oh, yeah, it's right here. I forgot to get that down. So we'll get it down now. I have the earrings and the bracelet. Uh, not the earrings, the earrings and the necklace. Hi, Shannon. Thanks for sharing. All right, so these are little upgrade earrings. They have a little multicolored like iridescent rhinestones in a hammered disc. I don't know if you can see those rhinestones are right down there at the bottom. And then the silver tassels coming down from there. So this is the length and the size of those earrings. And then this was the necklace that was with that set. I liked the set. So I went on and kept one and I had an extra one. So these are multicolored. They're iridescent and going up to like a brown topaz rhinestone. You see them lined up along the edge, the bottom curve of that larger hammered disc. So little tassels there. And the earrings are the, I think these are the light topaz. Yeah, the lighter brown ones. This is actually without the extension. So this is the way it fits on me, even without the extension. And of course, you've got two inches after that. So mine could hang down over my bust if I use that extension. 
So I have one more set, the earrings and the necklace. And they're going to be number one tonight. So if anybody would like to have this set like I have on, that is number one. And that will be a $10 set because those are the upgrade earrings. So we have that. How's everybody doing today? You're having chili and Jiffy muffins for supper. That is my favorite thing to have with chili. I love the sweet with the slightly spicy and salty, the savory. So chili with the... Um, the Jiffy Muffins, the sweet cornbread is so nice. And then I put uh, sour cream and shredded cheese on top of mine. That's how I like to eat it. And I finally converted Max to the sour cream. He didn't used to have the sour cream on it. And then he tried it and he's like, oh, that's good. So now he does that too. Hi, Tracy. Good to see you. So let's go ahead and move forward. Give everybody a chance to get in here, but we'll go ahead and show some things while they are. This is my last pair of these. I love them because they are so colorful. So these are the blue, like the Caribbean blue and the hot pink rhinestones. So it's like a filigree flower. They're actually called posy proposals. So they're supposed to be a flower. This is the length and the size of these earrings so you can pair them with either something in that blue or that pink or then something that's complementary to both of those colors for a multicolored outfit so that's always fun last pair of these though they are number two let's see number three number three i just have one of these also this is one of the ones that the company sent me that i didn't order it is called Homestead Harmony. It's a little dark over here in this corner, so I couldn't see. This has that brown crackle stone in it. It's almost like a butterscotch butterscotchy color. So if you like to eat butterscotch pudding, you kind of have an idea what that color looks like. Hi, Kim. This has the dot motif around those brown crackle stones in these frames. Kind of a wavy disc. Oblong disc. The earrings that come with it are the brown crackle stone beads, and they're on a fish hook back. Let's put this on our model and drag her over here. I would drag her by her hair, but she didn't have any, so I already did that. That's why she didn't have any. This one is half above the collar, half below the collar. So a um, collar length necklace with the two inch extension. It is going to sit down here to mid chest, so the bottom of that necklace will be right at mid chest. So we just have one of these. This is, would I say, Homestead Harmony. I still can't see it. <laughs> Homestead Harmony in brown. I think I'm getting old. Homestead Harmony grits. If grits? No, no, no grits. These are number three. We had grits um, last week. I made breakfast and we had grits. Mm -hmm. I was surprised I even still had some in the house because we don't, we just are not breakfast people for the most part. Um. So we don't keep a lot of breakfast food, but every once in a while I will buy bacon or buy sausage when, um, when we want it. So I don't keep it in the freezer. I just buy it on an as needed basis, but evidently I had bought some grits and they were in the, you know, the little single serving packets. So I made those. We had bacon and eggs and grits for breakfast. And then the other night, we used the rest of the package of bacon. We had eggs. And, you know, that's a high-dollar meal these days. you having bacon and eggs. It used to be the bacon that was the expensive part. Now it's the eggs. So we had bacon, eggs, and pancakes the other night for dinner. That's always such a nice no-brainer meal. It's so quick to make. I cook my bacon in the oven. I don't know how everybody else does it. I used to cook it in the frying pan, but you have to watch it really close. I love being able to just pop it in the oven and then come back like 15 minutes later and it's done. I don't have to flip it. It doesn't get burnt as long as I don't leave it in there too long. Hi, Aunt Dora. So I have time to then scramble the eggs and make the pancakes while I'm waiting for that. All right. These were exclusive earrings this month with the Fashion Fix. So I only get one pair of these. They're in a very pretty navy blue and gold. So that's like a gold leaf in on that blue stone. And then we have the gold filigree 
around the outside. So fancy looking, aren't they? On a fish hook back. This is the length and size. Again, I did only get one pair of these because they were exclusive. I'm waiting to see what other colors they're going to bring this out in because it is, they, they titled it with the blue color, which means we're going to get other colors in place of that blue. Kind of hoping for a burgundy that would look really pretty too. So these are welcoming whimsy in blue. And they are going to be number four tonight. Number five, just have one of these. And I may actually have to get some more stuff. I didn't take out quite enough tonight and I knew I didn't have enough. So this is called Fine Florals in silver. So we have a white rhinestone encrusted flower here. The little petals are the hematite rhinestone. So that off black or charcoal gray. And then we have the little silvery pearl in the center, tassel down from the bottom. This is a longer length necklace. The earrings are the silver pearly beads. This is just a really nice length, not too far below the bust, the pretty twisted chain. And then our tassel goes down to just below that mid abdomen. With the two inch extension, you can bring it down closer here to the belly button area. So you could wear it like this. Um, it does have a nice moving chain, but because of the way that these links are in here, they're kind of twisted and um, overlapping, there's really not a good way to get in there. So this is not going to be an easy one to shorten. Maybe you could get one of the safety pins through there. You might be able to get the pin through. So if you wanted to try to shorten it, that's how I would recommend doing it. So this one is Fine Florals. It is in silver. It is my last one. And it is number five that I picked up two again. I keep doing that. Hi, Marlo. I am happy it's Friday too. I'm always happy it's Friday, right? Every good thing happens on Friday. Well, not every good thing, but most good things happen on Friday. We usually have a pretty good Friday here. All right, next up. I'm going to um, go to 10 before we start the first question, just to give everybody a chance to get in here. I know that not everybody can come in right away, so we'll give them a chance to get here so that you all don't have to answer all of the questions. All right, these are called Saguaro Spring in blue. So we had these in black. They actually still have some in black. These are now in the blue, the turquoise blue. So the little blue flowers. We have the ornate detail on that disc behind the flower. These are on a fish hook back. Length and size is like this. So these are not a huge earring. Um, these pieces are probably about the size of a nickel. So I have three pairs of these. They are number six. Yeah, I thought those were cute too. They, um, they have the Southwest Indy style um, stones in them, but the style is not overwhelmingly Southwestern. So it's always nice to have kind of a neutral. Marlo wants a pair of those neutral earrings. I know she loves her crackle stone. Thank you for sharing, Violet. I appreciate you coming in here tonight. Hopefully everything is going well for you. I think they will go with your Z necklace. You are absolutely right because you have the flowery Z necklace. Yep. They're going to look very good with that for when you don't want the heavier earrings or if you want a second hole. All right. This is called Mojave Moon. It is in brown. Again, that crackle stone. So it looks like a full moon. It's our circular piece. This is actually stone in that butterscotchy color with the veining in it it's a little dot motif around the bottom curve the earrings again the brown beads or brown stone beads sorry my nose is tickling from the um hand sanitizer so please excuse me i'm trying not to rub it with my fingers so i don't have to keep putting hand sanitizer on which is only going to make it worse 
So this one is sitting right there at the collar and just below it. With the two inch extension, it is gonna sit down here. It'll be over the center of the chest. So going right in the center of the chest there. I have two more of these. Somebody jumped right on this one on the website when I posted it. And so I already sold one on the website before I could even show it. So this is Mojave Moon. It is in brown. We have two of them. It is going to be number seven. Number seven. So it's on that email that I sent out the other day. Hopefully you got yours. I'm going to try to remember to do more of those emails to kind of show you what's coming in and what I just ordered. Number seven to Aunt Dora. There, I'm going to use the handkerchief to scratch the end of my nose. <laughs> um, so that you can see those things that are coming in and be reminded before people buy them out from under, under you. All right. I have a pair of these myself. Love them. Half circle in kind of a coral color. Mother of Pearl finish. And they're attached to that circular silver frame on a fish hook back. I have three more pairs of these. This is the length and size. Really nice coral color. I wear this with my peachy things. They're just like a shade or two darker than the peachy things. So they work really well with the peach or I have some coral type or salmon type colors that I can wear them with. They work really well with those. So this is number eight. Seashore Vibes in orange. Number nine. Number nine is more stones. These are Adobe Air. Adobe Air. They say it's, in, they call these silver, but that's because these are little gray stone ovals. And then we have the little brown beads. These are wooden beads and the marquee shaped trinkets hanging off the bottom in silver. This is the length and size of these. So again, not overwhelmingly Southwestern, but kind of in that general style. I have two more of these. Adobe Air in silver. And they are going to be number nine. We're also going to try to get some more pictures of things posted for you so that you all can buy and shop from the pictures when you're not able to come to the shows because so many people are busy right now. Um, not every, the schedule doesn't work for everybody, or maybe you don't have time to just sit there for half an hour, 45 minutes or whatever. And so buying from the pictures is a really easy way to do it. I try to pair things up, things that match each other because I can see them. I have the advantage of being able to see them in person here. So I can pick out things that match up and um, put them together for you. So you can buy with confidence. Hey, Ruth, how are you doing today? It's just a tiny bit chilly today. Not bad, not bad at all, but a tiny bit chilly and the wind was blowing. So actually it was a pretty good day. I was out making deliveries. Max was out making deliveries this morning. And I usually get hot when I'm making those deliveries. So it was kind of nice to have the cool air moving. You've been really cold though, right, Violet? You've got some pretty cold weather moving through there. What was the temperature today? Do you know? So a lot of people have been cold. We, um, I don't know if it's fortunately or unfortunately, have not been super cold for a long time. Um, this year. It's it's been chilly at times. In fact, sometimes beyond chilly, uh, but it didn't stay that way. So that kind of works out. All right, let's show something blue. I didn't have any blue out. So here we go. This is a nice French blue or Mykonos blue. Those are two very close colors. Um, so a brighter medium blue in that I guess we're going to call this a trapezoid shape. It does have the corners cut off, but still really close. And then the hammered silver frames, the earrings, also the bright blue with the hammered silver. I have three of these. It's called Stellar Eris. Stellar Eris. 
lays right there at the collar for you. You can see how that brightens up that white top. You could wear this with a lot of different neutral colors if you don't have anything that color. And that'll add a little pop of color to your more neutral outfits. With the two inch extension, it is gonna sit down just slightly lower than center chest, which means these beads, see because of the size they are, gonna sit right across the center. So that'll take up that area. This one is called Stellar Eris. It is in blue. We have three. It is number 10. I have the red one like that, and I really like it. So we were just talking the other day, Mom and I, about how jewelry can change um, the way that an outfit looks. So you might start with kind of a neutral outfit, not any specific style, maybe more neutral colors, but it doesn't even have to be a neutral color. And just by putting one style of necklace or earrings with it, it can look either really dressed up, can look really dressed down, um, kind of have that fun bohemian vibe, just kind of depends on what accessories you pair with it, which is great because if you don't have a lot of clothing budget, like most of us don't right now because uh, eggs are expensive, <laughs> among other foods. Um, you can use just some basic wardrobe staples. Hi, Brenda. Good to see you. Use some basic wardrobe staples and change up your jewelry. So one time you might dress it up. Another time you might go with something a little bit more casual. Change your earrings out, even with the same necklace. You could wear a different pair of earrings with it, and that kind of changes the way that it looks. Throw in a few of those. That bohemian look is really in right now. The more fun and casual, the macrame. Um, a lot of the young, younger people are into that type of thing, the, not the traditional jewelry look. So that can really spice up your wardrobe as well and make you look modern and up to date. And then we also have the just classy, you know, kind of middle of the road, not too fancy, not too casual, but just middle of the road, like maybe business look, professional look. So you can do that as well. Let's go ahead and ask our first question. So we have some good survey questions tonight. I had to look through them earlier. The first one has five answers. And we are going to take answer number three as our winning answer. These winning answers give you extra chances to win the free piece of jewelry that you have at the end of, that we give away at the end of every show. So it is kind of important to get the right answer. It increases your chances of winning. And so does sharing. So trying to find answer number three, name a kind of wood, wood used to make furniture. Kind of wood used to make furniture. And just like the other survey questions, they asked like a hundred people and these were their responses. So you're looking for what other people are going to say, not necessarily what you might answer. Cherries, number five, used to be my favorite wood. Maple, maple was actually not on there. And I'm sad because that bird's eye maple is so pretty. Pine was number one. A lot of pine stuff because it's fairly cheap and easily available. Walnut was number four. Oh, cedar is a good answer. They didn't get that one. Um, oak was number two. So we just have one more. Teak, yeah. Kind of an expensive wood, but so, so pretty. So they used to use it a lot on boats, like the decking, the teak decking. And it was all polished up and pretty. Redwood, redwood would be pretty. I love the smell of the cedar and the bugs don't. So it's great to use in your closet or use for chests to keep um, fabric and stuff in, keep blankets in it because it'll keep the bugs, the moths from coming in and eating all your blankets. Last thing I want when I go to pull out my comfy blanket is a bunch of moth holes. So cedar's good for that. All right. So mom got that one right. Let us move on to our next pieces. 
So these, I only have one pair as well. I didn't actually even realize I had these. I was looking through everything else and I'm like, where did these come from? I do not remember ordering these. I guess I did, but I don't even remember ordering them. So these are called Back in the Spotlight in pink. These are pink pearly beads and white rhinestones. We're set on an oval setting in the top there. So really pretty. You could put these with a simple pale pink pearly necklace or even a rhinestone necklace. This is the length and size. So we just have one pair of these. Back in the spotlight in pink is number 11. Okay, number 12. And we're actually going to have number 12 and 13, but I'll do 12 first. Number 12, we have green teardrop emeralds. Green, green emerald green teardrop rhinestones. There we go. Knew it was in there somewhere. <laughs> Cord type or snake type chain. The earrings, also those green teardrops, a little bit smaller green teardrops. I love to use these smaller teardrops and rhinestones for my second hole. They work really well for that. This one also has some white rhinestone accents in between those teardrops. And I have three of these. So this is the length, kind of sitting above and below that um, collar. With the two inch extension, I'm gonna sit down to center chest. And then I was gonna show you, because those earrings are kind of small, I had these already. These are called Blushing Bride in green. So you can see the same green teardrops in the center, and then they are surrounded by white rhinestones. And we have another outside teardrop that is also the white rhinestones. These would look great with that necklace. So these are Blushing Bride in green, and then we have Regally Refined in green as the necklace. So our necklace is gonna be number 12. And then we'll make the earrings number 13. So if you'd like them both, you'll need to claim numbers 12 and 13. 12 and 13. All right. Number 14, we have a ring. This is called Argentine Arches. It is in brass. That pretty pattern on there almost looks like a tribal pattern in that antiqued brass. This is on the wide stretchy band that helps our larger rings have a little bit more stability. Let me cover up my face so that it will focus in here. There we go. And then on a finger, this is what that looks like. So it is up toward the knuckle there. A little bit wider ring. Just have one of these. It was also sent as an exclusive. So they only give us one of the exclusive pieces. This is going to be number 14, the Argentine arches in brass. And Aunt Dora has claimed that one. So it belongs to her. <laughs> You're doing good because you had two free pieces this week, um, Aunt Dora. So you have three items and two of them were free. That's a great way to do it. I would do that if I could. Number 15. These I was looking for the other day and I couldn't find them. I told you guys I thought they were right on my desk and they definitely were. I just had to move some other earrings. These are the iridescent rhinestone in the silver setting. So I don't know what we're calling this shape. It has the same sides as a pyramid. There's five sides, but that is not really a pyramid shape if you look at it. The post is right up here in this top. So they're actually gonna hang down about like this. It's not a big earring, but we have that really neat iridescent rhinestone. We have three of these. They are number 15. They're called Indulge Me. 
in multi. So that's number 15. <clears throat> All right. Let's find our next question. One, two, three, four, five. Five answers on this one, too. I'm going to go with number four on this one. Hi, Terry. How are you? So we're looking for answer number four out of five on this question. Name a popular color for the outside of a house. So the exterior, when you go to paint it, the main color, not the trim color, but the main color. Popular color for a house. Yellow actually didn't make the list. I do still see quite a few yellows, not as much as you, you used to. White was number three. Tan was five. Gray was two. Let's see. Let's see if we got any other answers there. Blue. Blue was the winning answer, Shannon. That was number four. And I guess we're going to go with off-white as the other answer. It was actually beige, but, you know, those are pretty close. So Terry got the other one. Beige was number one. So talk about boring. We're all stuck in a color rut. <laughs> number one house color is beige. Okay. Of course, any of you who have seen my house, uh, the outside is dark red. Not something I would have chosen. But after we saw it, we really liked it. And so we've chosen not to repaint the outside. We've played with the idea a few times, um, changing the color of it, and just could not find anything that we were happier with than this dark red. So it is staying dark red. So it's, a, it's kind of funny that things you would not have picked for yourself end up being things you really, really like and you keep. So lesson learned. Sometimes it's nice to just kind of break out of that old routine and try something different. I was going for a blue, like maybe a slate blue, because we have black and white trim, white around the windows and then like black accents. So I thought it would look really pretty with like a slate blue, but we just could not find a, a color we agreed on. So just it is what it is. All right, this one was also an exclusive. It is called Playing Favorites in white. This is a stretchy bracelet. So we'll adjust to fit your wrist size. We have little teardrops. Every other one is encrusted with rhinestones, and then the other ones in between are the hammered teardrops. Hi, Becky. Good to see you. So we just have one of these. It is called Playing Favorites in white and it is number 16. I like this because we have the white rhinestones but this is not overly glitzy so wouldn't be out of place worn with my t-shirt which is thank you Marlo it is called um time for wine go figure right <laughs> you should know out of all the people I would have some kind of fingernail polish that was named after wine so that's where we're at on that. I'm going to pull out a few more pairs of earrings. We didn't get to... I didn't do as many as I usually did the other night, so we'll show a few extras. These are Tropical Tryst in gold. Love these because they are that mother of pearl again. Aren't those pretty? I just love the way that those look. So little discs with that mother of pearl finish in white of course there's a little variation in color they've got some tan or beige in there because of course those have a variation in color gold hardware so they're on a goldfish hook back this is the length and size so it can look like you're wearing little a little cascade of shells from your ear i do too we have two pairs of these so this is tropical tryst in gold those are number 17. All right. I forgot to continue pulling the things off the, uh, I get, actually I ran away, ran out of time, but, um, 
I'll just grab some things off the board, no problem. This is also a stretchy bracelet. I have two of these. This is antique copper. This is called ancient animal. So you can see why the hammering on these circular pieces look like kind of a leopard or a cheetah print. So it looks animal-ish. I have two of these available. So we have ancient animal in copper and they are number 18. Two of those available. Let's see what else I had here that I might not have gotten to show the other night. Usually I have stuff sitting on my desk. <laughs> I know that shocks all of you. Got jewelry like everywhere. Still working on trying to figure out how best to organize this jewelry room. I need somebody to come do it for me. I'm trying to get mom to come out, but she won't do it. This is called Vintage Gardens in Copper. So this has that green patina on it. We have the... Why can't I say that? The copper, the antiqued copper. Thank you. Antiqued copper with the green patina. These have little flower patterns on those ovals. And then the little cage beads. Earrings are the little cage beads. I did just get one of these in. So this is the length sitting right up there. She had, yeah, I did have COVID. So you're my mom. You were supposed to come take care of me. <laughs> this set right above my collar with the two inch extension. It is going to sit down here just above the center of the chest. So we have one of these available. This is Vintage Gardens. And it is in that copper with the green patina. It is number 19. I love the cage beads too. I think they're so fun, Becky. I told, I know, I probably say this every time. They remind me of the Fabergé eggs because it, the little hollow egg that you look inside and you see the little seams inside. Marla wants that one. Um, so that's what they remind me of because they're hollow and you're looking through the little like filigree. So I think they're fun. All right, let's see. What have we not shown recently? Probably like everything because we've got so much. All right, let me just get a whole ring. <laughs> I'm not going to take care of you. That's what a nurse is for. I, you know, I'm not supposed to have to take care of my mom. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. The moms take care of the kids. And then we hire somebody to take care of mom. Isn't that how that works? All right. This one I have two of. This one I have two of. It is a longer necklace. It is called Monumental Obelisk. Oh, they did? That would be fun. I would love those. Monumental Obelisk in multi. So we've kind of that oil spill look on the chunky stone on the bottom. They have the hammered half circle and silver circle above it. The earrings are the little silver circles. Let me pull her back over here. She keeps getting in the way. This one's hanging right below the bust and goes down through, oh goodness, <laughs> mid abdomen. With the two inch extension, it is gonna hang just slightly lower. Not really gonna, change a whole lot it'll just go down into the more lower abdomen rather than central abdomen so we do have two of these monumental obelisk you know some of you like that more natural stone type look we have two of those and it is going to be number 20 number 20 there you go all right, let's find another question so we can see what kind of dumb answers they gave for this one. <laughs> I don't think there is actually any dumb answers for this next one. So there are six answers on this question. We are going to go with number four out of six. Number four will be our winning one. 
Name something kids play on in a city park. Something that kids play on in the city park. What do you think? Everybody has their favorites. There's so many good choices. Or even the playground at school, you know, they, they're pretty well equipped at like a city park these days. The monkey bars, well, we call them jungle gym, but that was number three. Uh, swing was number one. That's everybody's favorite, the swings. The teeter-totter or the seesaw, that was the right one. That was, um, why can I not say your name and I'm looking right at you? Violet. Violet said teeter-totter first. Slide was number two. So we have swing, slide, the jungle gym or monkey bars. And then we have the seesaw or teeter-totter, whatever you call it. Merry-go-round was number six. Oh, yeah, those little springy horsies. I love those. They were fun. They're not on the list. Everybody forgot about those. What else might kids play on in a city park? And this is maybe for a little older kids. Maybe not so much the, the little kids. What do you think? Very common, especially in the city. Yeah, the basketball court. It's number five. It's where a lot of our basketball players, our professional sports players, got their start. Playing in the city park or whatever neighborhood park they had, playing on the basketball court. All right, next up is a bracelet. Apparently, tonight is brown crackle night because we have a brown crackle bracelet as well. This one has mismatched frames. Sorry, I have to say that slower. Mismatched frames with the brown crackle stone in them. So little different shapes and sizes and the framing on them. This is an adjustable clasp bracelet. So we have that extension with the lobster clasp. I did just get one of these. This one is Taos Trendsetter. Taos Trendsetter in brown. And it is going to be number 21. <clears throat> All right, let's see. What else do we want to look at tonight? Hmm. I'm trying to think if anybody has any suggestions. That's, that's good. We're going to be do about, do about, sorry, Jade, do about five or six more pieces. So I'm just going to pull a few down over here. I like these. I, tonight must be Mother of Pearl night, too. We're going to do Mother of Pearl and Brown um, Crackle Stone. I don't know. Sometimes you just end up with a theme, whether you want to or not. This one is called New Age Nautical. It is in copper. So we have the bright, shiny copper. Then we have the disc at the bottom with the sh shiny copper frame. That Mother of Pearl finish on it. The earrings are some little shiny copper tassels on a fish hook back. I have two of these. So this is a nice one to layer. If you like to layer your necklaces because you have the nice shorter profile on this one. So you could do maybe a medium length below it or a bust length below it. Or you can just use these in the V of your shirt. Like if you have those the collared shirts and you leave that top button open and you've just got that little space of the collar that fits right in there. So it is not down to the collar of this shirt yet. With the two inch extension, it's gonna come just past the collar. So definitely an upper chest necklace. This one is New Age Nautical. And it is in copper. We have two of these. Number 22. Okay. Number. 23. Number 23 is called Kinda a Big Deal in blue. So we have a teardrop shaped 
navy blue, kind of that sapphire navy blue teardrop, rhinestone encrusted setting. This one is on that wide back, wide stretchy back. So give you a little stability there. It'll fit about sizes six through 10. This is the size on a hand. I don't know why her fingers are so skinny. Mine are definitely not. I have short stubby fingers. Um, she has long skinny fingers. So maybe she was a piano player in another life. This one is kind of a big deal in blue. And it is going to be number 23. We just have one of these. I'll give that one to Max so that I don't drop it on the floor. Because that's not good, right? Number 24. I have one of these left. This one is called Floral Farmstead in copper. So this is kind of a combination between that antique and the shiny copper. Not quite as shiny as a shiny copper. Not quite as dark as the antique copper. So kind of an in-between in that flower pattern. Just have one left. It's on a wide stretchy back. Love that because it adjusts to fit your finger instead of you having to jam your finger into it. So this is what it looks like. I think stretchy rings are the best thing they ever came out with. Not too many companies make them. I've heard that there's one other major company that makes them, but that's about it. So this is number 24. Floral Farmstead in copper. All right, let's do another pair of earrings just to balance that out. And since we are doing lots of Mother of Pearl stuff tonight, I have a Mother of Pearl and copper set of earrings here that are really cute too. They're a little bit bigger, but they're really cute. I do have two of them. They're called Vacation Glow. So there we have an octagon. And up at the top, a hexagon. That mother of pearl again. Finish on that white. Okay. This is the length and the size. So about like that. These are called Vacation Glow in copper. And they are number 25. 25. So we have two of those. All right. So we're going to ask our last question. Then I'm going to show just a couple more pieces so that Max has his time to be able to draw our winner and see who's going to get a free piece tonight. Now, this one, I probably could not answer myself. But we're going to test and see if you have Shrek knowledge. Marla would like number 24. Um, this one has six answers. I'm going to take number four out of six. Name a fairy tale character who makes an appearance in Shrek. So Marla wants 24, not 25. That's what she said. Okay. 24. The fairy tale character who makes an appearance in Shrek. And I could not have named most of these because I honestly don't remember. My kids were little when I watched it. Yep, the kitty cat, number one. Pinocchio was not in there. Cinderella was number three. I can see somebody has watched Shrek a lot more than I have. <laughs> Robin Hood, Pinocchio, those were not on there. Sleeping Beauty, the gingerbread man. That was number four, Marlo. Very good. The gingerbread man. So we have Kitty Cat, Puss in Boots. Autocorrect didn't like your answer. I know. They're like that. Um, we had Cinderella. That was number three. We had Gingerbread Man, which was number four. Oh, and somebody did say Pinocchio. That was number six. I lumped it in with something else. There are two more. They both fly. How about that? Maybe it'll narrow it down. Maybe it won't. They both fly. So we 
think I have gingerbread man. I, I need to make some gingerbread cookies. I have like three boxes of them here. Not the three blind mice. A fairy godmother. That was number five. And Tinkerbell. Violet, you've watched Shrek way too many times. We're going to take that away from you now. For your own good. So those are the other two. Tinkerbell and the fairy godmother. Yeah, I think Violet's copy of Shrek needs to be confiscated. Because she knows about as much about Shrek as I know about Frozen. Because there are some little girls in our house who love Frozen. And actually, Caitlin and Alicia did too. So, I probably could sing all the theme songs. That's how that works. You know how it is when you've got the kids. Not the Little Mermaid, Max. No. Not the Little Mermaid. She <sighs> got a lot to say. But there's something. Why are you singing again? You're not allowed to sing on the show. People are going to start leaving. <laughs> All right. We showed the silver version of these the other night, but I wanted to let you know that we have them in copper as well. The shiny copper. I call these the dress earrings because they kind of look like a dress. They're called Metal Physical Mood in copper. They do have a little bit of weight to them, just so that you know. Marlo, you have never seen Frozen. You know why? You because you have two sons. If you had girls, you would definitely have seen it 5,000 times. So this is the length and size. These are a post earring. So we have copper dress earrings. So Terry, I don't know anything from Beauty and the Beast. He said he doesn't know anything from Beauty and the Beast, but I bet he does. Be our guest. Oh, yes. This one's number 26. Okay. <laughs> Two pairs of those available. <laughs> I should not have told him because he does actually know things from Beauty and the Beast, and he forgot. Now I've reminded him I'm going to be hearing Beauty and the Beast for the next three weeks. Oh. Thanks, Terry. All right, let's see. Let's make it easy. Let's just let's just um, do a couple more. You're a Toy Story mom. Yep, yep. We had uh, we had Toy Story with Brandon and Alicia because that's when the first one came out, and also the Lion King, Lion King, and the play of the Lion King was really awesome. They did some really neat effects with that. We haven't seen that one on stage. We did We did go see The Lion King, the Broadway version. It was pretty cool. All right. I have one. This is called Dripping Self-Confidence. Dripping Self-Confidence. In multi. Yep. Oh, yeah. We had the Brave Little Toaster, too. We have Oil Spill Rhinestones. Surrounded by the Hematite Rhinestones. The dark, dark gray. We have black fish hook back. So this is in the black metal. This is the length and size. I do have one of the coordinating necklaces too. I don't have it out, but I have one of the coordinating necklaces. So if you wanted a matched set, I do have the necklace to these. These are the upgrade earrings. So this is number 27. And we do just have one pair of those left. Dripping self-confidence. So Violet... You won tonight. You're going to get a free piece. Always fun to win a free piece. Gives you a way to try something new without having to. Um, that was the um, Land Before Time, Violet. My kids loved those two. We had all the movies. Friends yeah, without life. having to put a lot of money out. So you can have the freedom to kind of... Um, try things out without risk. All right. And then I'm going to bring these out. I have two more of these. These are tiny hoops as well. These have the pink. I don't know if these are rhinestones or beads. They kind of look like both. They kind of look like little Dewey. I love Ducky. Love Ducky. His little voice. They're so cute. So these are very light pink. You can see the pale pink. Set in the silver. You can see about how big they are. So they're actually like a half circle. These would make great second hole hoops. 
So we have Carefree Couture in pink. This is going to be our last piece tonight. It is going to be number 28. And we have two pairs left. So our tiny pink hoops are going to wrap up our show. Um, Sunday, I wanted to remind you, Sunday is going to be a recorded show because we do have our annual Pioneer dinner and meeting. So we'll be doing that on Sunday. So think of me while you're watching the show. It'll be, it, it will be pre-recorded and scheduled to play at the normal time. So just come in here at the normal time. Um, but we will be enjoying some um, association of that little gathering that evening. And then we'll tell you about it later. So I hope that everybody has a great weekend. Oh, it is Friday. That means it's end of invoice period. So about noon tomorrow will be the cutoff. And then we'll get those invoices out to you. Hopefully um, it will not take me as long as last week because I'm feeling better. So hopefully we can get all those out Saturday evening and get those over to you. So make sure you're checking your email either Saturday night or on Sunday so that I can uh, mail the packages on Monday. Mm, yep. I think that's it. All right. So everybody have a great weekend. We'll see you Sunday.